Section 40 of Christmas and Christmas Lore. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Christmas and Christmas Lore by Thomas G. Crippen. The Christmas Sheaf. In Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Hungary, there is a regular custom of setting a small sheaf of corn on a pole in the gable of the house or barn and he would be thought a very curmudgeon who would refuse the birds the Christmas feast. The boys in Denmark say it is for Santa Claus's white horse, and this is suggestive of what probably originated the custom. There can be little doubt that it is a pre-Christian survival, and that the sheaf was at first intended for Odin's horse, Slepnor. But in the northern countries, generally, there is a prevailing notion that the lower animals ought to have a share in the Christmas bounty. St. Francis wished the oxen and asses to have extra hay and corn at Christmas, for reverence of the Son of God, whom on such a night the Blessed Virgin Mary did lay down in the stall between the ox and the ass. He thought that all creation should rejoice at Christmas, and the dumb creatures had no other means of doing so. Accordingly, in Silesia, wheat is given to the beasts on Christmas Eve to make them thrive. It was said that if wheat be kept in one's pocket during Christmas service, and then given to the fowls, they will grow fat and lay many eggs. This seems to belong to the large class of magical superstitions, according to which a blessing or a curse is conveyed by means of enchanted food or drink. In Norway, there is usually a great brewing beforehand of Yule ale, of which a good portion is given to the cattle. This seems quite in the spirit of Francis. Even more so is a custom which is not yet quite extinct in the west of England. On Christmas Day, a double ration of provender is given to horses and other cattle for luck, and it is said that if this were neglected, misfortune would certainly follow. Akin to this is a custom in some parts of Italy and Spain of scattering grain on Christmas Eve as a feast for the birds. End of section 40